Welcome back to another how to. Today we're going to do rear subframe reinforcing for an E30 or E36 compact. Here I have an old E31 that I reinforced a couple of years ago. I've since sold the car so I'm not even going to use it. I don't really want to rebuy the plates because by the time you buy the plates and have shipping it just gets a little bit expensive. So today I thought we'd run through the process of template making cutting it out of cardboard, some cardboard aided design, and then cutting it out of just some 50 mil flat bar. Cause you can get this for, I paid 10 bucks for a meter and a half, and this is gonna be more than enough to do rear subframe, front subframe, and maybe some of the reinforcing in the trailing arm. So with all of that said, we'll just start cutting our templates out and then transferring it onto metal and weld it in. All right, I've got a box. I'm just gonna cut it into 50 mil strips so I can transfer it onto the 50 mil plate easily. Good enough, that's all you need. You can see we've got this plate over here, which is just running down the side. We are gonna to need to grind back a little bit of the weld here, and we'll obviously clean up all of the paint before we weld. We go across at the top, cut that. There's a fold mark where they've bent this piece of metal. We're gonna line this plate up with that. That's where we're gonna be welding on. We mark the top and, and we're just gonna draw a line. And there we go. First template, it's as simple as that. That one can also be used mirrored on the other side. This template is gonna do four parts. We've got the fold line, we're gonna hold it up, mark the top, Mark the bottom. We might come out 20 mil, say 10 mil. And then we're gonna join up from there to the bottom. There we have the template that will do both sides. Now be aware that if you weld this piece in, the nut and the bolt to hold the trailing arms goes through here. You need to install your trailing arm first because normally you'd undo it from this side, this plate is gonna cover that bolt. But there's the reinforcement plate. That is gonna do one, two, and then the same on the other side. So we've got two of the three for these reinforcements. Then the last one we've gotta do is on this angle. So it's a bit of an off angle. So this one's gonna be a little bit smaller than 50 mil but we'll hold it up to that notch where the fold line is. You can see that it's about 10 mil from the top of the cardboard to the bottom of the frame, not to the bottom of the weld. We're gonna mark roughly 10 mil up. Then we're gonna draw a line, get our scissors, cut that away. We're gonna cut the corner away to clear the weld. We haven't quite got it right. There's a little bit of a radius. All right, and that is spot on. Mark the top. And if you want to clean it up, you could change the angle. And then we have reinforcing plates for all of the trailing arm mounting points. We'll transfer them onto the 50 mil flat bar and then cut them out. But we do have two more spots that we need to just template before we cut it out of the flat bar. So you can see on this back one that we've got some reinforcing plates over here and on the back, just here. So the next bit that we're gonna do is the top. This one isn't gonna be 50 mil. Another bit of cardboard, hold it on the top. Got the width, I'm holding it flush with the frame. So this one is 35 mil. Whoop. Hold the cardboard so it doesn't flex. flex -o. We've got the plate, that fits. If you get a combination square, you can line up this end of it on a number. I'm lining mine up on 85. 
and that way they should all be uniform. There we have our reinforcing plate. That one's done. Now our last one to do, again, we only need to do one side and you will be able to mirror it. So just get one nice template, cut a piece down so it's a little bit more manageable. Take a guess. It's cardboard. If you get it really wrong, just get some more cardboard. Mark, mark, get a rough idea. So we've got one. Can't see it, but it does the exact same thing. With these ones, I would suggest welding it on and then just drilling the hole through the back. I'm gonna do the same thing for these. That is our template sorted. We can transfer them all to 50 mil flat bar. I'll get all of these cut out and then we'll weld them in. We'll just mark these out on the bar. We can mark out a bunch out at once. Duh, I should have done it like that. You fool. But I pity the fool. I've put a little number on each one to know how many I need of each one. If you do the angle into the center, you can then flip it and save yourself a cut. Let's get cutting. Guess who forgot one? Me. There's all the plates. I'll deburr them, grind them down to where they need to be ground down to. And because I have used flat bar, there's a bit of a mill scale that I'll just sand off just to make it so they're nice and clean. And then we'll weld these bad boys in. So we've got our templates. We've got our metal plates. Sick. Now we want to offer each plate up, hold it into the position that we're going to weld it and just mark around. So then we know that we need to clean up all of the paint around that area. We are going to clean up the paint back here just so it doesn't bubble up. And then we will be putting on some weld through primer just to make sure that it doesn't rust. We'll mark all of these out. You can see all of the white texture. I'm going to clean all of the paint off in those locations so we can get ready to weld these. I've sprayed everything with weld through primer, but I, I've just noticed there are a couple of welds on the subframe that get in the way of some of the plates. So I'm just going to tickle them down, redo the weld through primer, and then we can tack everything together. Not completely happy with this one. I feel like it's overhanging a little bit too much at the bottom. I'm just gonna grind that down a little bit further. Yeah, much better. We'll get this top one all welded in. Underside as well, don't forget about underneath. So I did a set of pop, chucked a three mil drill down it. These are a 13 mil hole. All right, and that's the subframe reinforced. Took me maybe three or four hours to make the templates, make the plates, grind the plates up, bit of weld through primer and weld them on. And I mean, I didn't have to wait for delivery. I didn't have to pay for shipping. I've still got probably a meter of flat bar. So really it's like 500 mil of flat bar and you can reinforce this subframe. I'll remove the bushings. We're gonna paint it the same color as the steering linkage and all of the subframes going that color. I've really like that color. We'll get this off to sandblasting, get it primed, and then work out the bushings, and then get it painted. The next step is to decide what bushings you're gonna go with. Now, I'm going Super Pro bushings just because they are incredibly easy to install compared to the OEM versions. OEM is always gonna be a terrific option. I just didn't wanna go with it this time. I'll leave a link in the description of the bushings that I've used so you can have a look at them and then decide for yourself. As you can see, the reinforcings came out really well. 
The part looks amazing. This is a metallic paint, so it's gonna look amazing for an underbody, probably a little excessive. We've got the reinforcings for the rear trailing arms and the reinforced, but I do have another giveaway coming up for worldwide and it's a pretty good one. I'm actually pretty excited to give this one away. So stay tuned, leave me a comment, tell me if it's worked for you, if you've done it, chuck me a like if you did end up doing it and it worked out and then if you really think I've earned it, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully this series has been beneficial to you, you've gotten some use out of it and just remember, cardboard, Templating, you can make almost anything. Cheers.